so one of the reasons why kids um, usually seek out tech time is, uh, well, there's, there's a few different reasons, actually. Um, for, for video games in particular, maybe we can speak to that for a moment, uh, there's three major factors why people would engage in video games. Uh, one of them is like, at the sense of achievement, right? So maybe I feel like things aren't going great in my, in my real life, but here I'm getting rewarded very quickly for what I'm doing. I feel like I'm making progress towards something and I just feel really competent uh, when I'm doing it. And that feels great. Uh, so I want to keep doing that. It's self-reinforcing. Uh, one of the other reasons is actually social. So one thing that we see is uh, with autism, it's really hard face-to-face -to, -face to have a lot of those interactions. But if I create some distance and have maybe an avatar to express some things that I'm thinking or wanting to try out in an experimental way without a lot of negative consequences attached to that, it's really nice for me to be able to have um, that disconnect while still connected to people socially. Uh, and video games and, and other forms of, of technology can do that. The last one is kind of um, this, this escapism, if you will, to break where I feel like I can fully immerse myself in a different reality, a story, where I can get lost in it and just create kind of this fantasy world, which is fun for everyone. Reading a good book can do the same thing, but something far more immersive, like a video game or even like a movie, has a much greater effect for us to do that. So we find that there's these kind of different reasons that can really contribute to why someone would want to use more tech. Um, and it's important to understand what's driving that because the type of technology they're using may be different for those reasons. If someone's kind of motivated socially, they're far more likely to use social media or lots of texting, kind of like Snapchat as a way of connecting with people and using that sort of tech. For a lot of kids with autism, it's not that. Uh, it's usually more of this achievement piece or this escape piece. And so some video games, like role-playing games, where they can take on the identity of a character and get immersed in this world, uh, really connects with them. Uh, and it's gonna be a good way that they can explore things in a different way. We just wanna make sure we don't get too lost in that world, uh, or able to use some of the same, same factors in what we're doing in the real world as well.